I'm going to be making tuna salad. Not just plain old basic chicken of the sea type tuna salad, but I'm going to make this with some smoked yellowfin tuna. My hubby does a lot of deep sea fishing and when they come back from their long-term trips, he usually has a lot of the tuna processed and smoked. Some of it's made into jerky and some of it just comes home to be cooked. Anyway, this is some of the smoked yellowfin tuna. And I'm going to be adding to it a couple of hard boiled eggs. I've got some bell pepper, some celery, and some onion diced. And this is probably about a little less than a half of a, an onion. That's two stalks of celery, and that's about a quarter of a large bell pepper. I'm going to be adding salt and pepper to taste. I have sweet relish, yellow mustard, and mayonnaise, which I sort of add based upon the consistency. I don't have any true measurements for it. To start, I'm going to dice up my hard-boiled eggs. And I like this little contraption. It makes it so much easier. And we'll just add that to the bowl. And here's my second one. These are actually small hard-boiled eggs. I buy them at Costco pre-boiled so that I don't have to worry about trying to get the shells off and all of that. It just makes it so much easier for me. I've got about a half a teaspoon of pepper here and this is freshly ground and I'm going to add not all of that for now. Well, yeah, I'll add all of it. I've got salt and I'm going to put in a little less than a teaspoon of salt. We're going to go to my mayonnaise, and I'm not going to say that this is probably going to be at least a half a cup of mayonnaise or more. And that's probably about a teaspoon and a half of yellow mustard. And that's probably about a tablespoon of relish. I'm going to take all of this and mix it up together. That's the start. And this is where I get my feel for what the consistency is going to be. And that's looking okay for now. Once I put the tuna in there, I may have to add a little bit more mayo. And of course, after we finish adding everything, I'm going to taste and I may add more. Now I like to mix my vegetables, my mayo, my onion, excuse me, my yellow mustard, and my relish all together in the beginning in hopes that I can get it more consistently blended with the veggies. And then I'll take my yellowfin tuna, and I actually weigh this. This is 12 ounces of yellowfin tuna. And I'm going to take it out, and I'm just going to sort of separate it as I put it into the bowl. See that color? It smells really good, too. Unlike just regular tuna. And there's a lot of moisture in there too, so I may not have to add any more. So I'll sort of break up the big chunks of tuna. I'm going to do that when we come back. I'll have it all blended together. I finished mixing my tuna salad, and I did add probably about another quarter cup of mayonnaise, about another teaspoon of yellow mustard, and less than a tablespoon of relish uh, additional to it. And now it's all mixed up. I'll do a taste. 
just to make sure I've got all my salt and everything all blended well. We're good. That's money. I'll put it in my container for storage, put it in the refrigerator, and as hubby wants a snack or something, he can go in there and get some crackers and mix it with the, or eat it with the tuna salad, make a sandwich, tuna melt, or just basic plain old tuna, as we used to call it back in my day, tuna fish. I want a tuna fish sandwich. This is smoked yellowfin tuna. By Sylvie. Hope you enjoy this. Share, like, comment. Leave me a note just saying how you feel about my recipes. Until the next time, good eats.